Hello everyone, you guys are uh, welcome back. Uh, in today's edition, I'm going to quickly show us how to cut a meal pant. A simple uh, and a perfect meal pant. I'm going to use the easiest method. Um, this is a fabric folded into two. And this one folded into two like this. So what you need to do first is um get the crotch get the crotch measurement how to get your crotch um you can decide to do you can decide to do hip divided by four to get your crotch measurement but when you're cutting for a when you're cutting a male pant the crotch is usually 10 or 9 inches it's always within that range if you use any, uh, if you use either ten or nine, it will still work. For someone that is supposed to use nine, if you use ten, it will still work. For someone that is supposed to use nine, uh, ten, if you use nine, it will still work. So it's usually nine or ten inches, but mostly ten. You understand? It is only in some cases, maybe when the person is big and is very very tall, that is when you start using eleven inches or twelve. 11 or 12 but mostly 10 or 9 inches or you just divide it by 4 then you just you use it so this is the this is the nail line that is from the waist you get the nail line then this is the full length the full length is 36 plus um inches folding allowance this is the crotch this is the nail line this is the full length and uh, the folding allowance so after when you might have gotten all these lines the next thing you do now is um you are going to divide the the lap measurement by two so the lap i'm using here is 24 that is divided by two which is um 12 this is it 12 like this so all you need to do is just mark the that 12 you divide it by two which is six get that six here you know this is the 12 which is 24 so you divide that 12 by uh, by two then it will give you six so that six is what you are going to mark all through you mark it all through like this so you just connect it straight so this is it after connecting the line six that is whatever you have on your lap divided by two then you mark and you mark it all through then you connect the lines so from this point from this 12, uh, 12 inches we measured you are going to mark two inches so the waist is um 32 just mark the two inches there you are going to connect it to this part so the waist is 32 which is um eight inches divided by four which is eight inches plus two inches so all you need to do is just curve like this you are going to curve like this So mind you, the waistline is not going to be straight. So just measure one inch downward like this. Then you are going to connect. You can decide to make it straight. You can decide to just curve a little bit like this. But just know you are slanting to this uh, one inch you measured here. So this is it. I hope it's clear. So now the ankle is 12. That is 12 inches divided by 2, which is 6. So all you need to do is I just place your tape here on this middle part, this line that you, you ruled the other time. Get 3 inches here, then 3 inches here. So this is the 6. So all you need to do now is just try and connect here. Then this other one, you connect it here. So if you know you have your leg curve ruler, you can decide to make use of it. But if you know that maybe your hand is straight like my own, you can decide to just freestyle. <laughs>
So this is it. Then from here, from here, we connect like this. Just like I said, if you know your hand is straight like my own, you can leave ruler, but if you know your hand is not straight, please use your leg cup ruler. So this is it. You can see how perfect it, uh, it is. So all you need to do is just, this is the front part now. So all you need to do is just cut it out. So don't get confused. You see this down part that the ankle is um 12 inches. Uh, yeah, 12 inches. If it is 14, all you need to do is place your tape here. Then you measure 3.5 here, then 3.5 this side. It will now give you seven. You understand? If the ankle is 16, all you need to do is just measure four here, then four here. So it will give you eight in total. So that's that. So now you are going to flip over like this. We are going to turn it the other way around like this. So after turning like this, all you need to do now is um, this down part, you measure two inches. Then this lap area, you're going to measure three inches. Two inches like this. Then three inches from this side. Then you can see, make use of your leg cuff ruler to connect like this. To connect like this. So from this part, if you remember, we, uh, we planted one inch down here. So you are going to add that one inch back. Then you add additional one inch. So which means you are going to add two inches here. This part. Then this other side, you are going to add a one inch extension here. So now you are going to connect like this. You are going to connect like this. Then this one inch to this uh, crotch line. This one inch to this crotch line. So all you need to do is, um, and you know, if you, if you take note, you see that this one is going to come straight. This one is going to come straight like this, this line. So when you want to cut from here, you are not going to cut exactly from this part. You are going to come down a little bit with uh, probably maybe half inch. You come down with half inch. So that you'll be able to cut from here. You cut like this. You slant this way. You're going to cut this one. So after after cutting this one, like don't don't uh, don't forget that when you're curving this back side, you have to be very very close to this uh, sharp edge here. Just intercept this uh this edge here so all you need to do now is cut like this and you follow the same shape and you cut it out so that's that this is the back you know by the time you join you know it's going to be like this you can see how accurate and perfect it is so it's as simple as that. If I were you, I would just take a fabric after watching this video, then I would just practice before uh, I forget. It's as simple as that. Then if you want to cut the band, all you need to do is just uh, measure out like four inches wide. Then, then you get the, uh, the round waist measurement. You get it. Then the cutting of the pant is ready. It's as simple as that. So cutting the band now, you need to do just cut a straight uh, fabric like this, like four inches wide. And make sure it's going to be enough for your round waist uh, measurement. 
So after joining everything, all you need to do is just fix the band, then your pants is ready. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Please don't forget to share and subscribe. See you guys next time.